All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Yeah, I think we're doing Dokkan here. Um, all right, so I want to do a video about this because I'm seeing a lot of discussion about this. So, I mean, this is something that is very, very small, but, I mean, you know, as figures with, like, Dragon Ball community, these gacha games in particular, like, really, any small thing uh, does get blown up into, like, oh, craziness. And, like, I definitely can understand because, like, Right now, JB Dokkan has uh, the greatest celebration in Dokkan history going on, whereas Global is just sort of on, like, a slow, middling, like, you know, run-of-the-mill sort of celebration here. Well, I guess, if anything, the celebration Global has, I mean, is a little bit better than usual. People probably would argue with me about that right now, but the LR Prime Battle Frieza EZA being there is huge, right? So, what we have here is new app icons. Um, this is specifically for Global Dokkan. Uh, we have a Super Saiyan Goku, a God Goku, and then we also have a base form Goku. Now, literally, this is it. The entirety of the news, the whole premise of this video is just these three app icons, and it is insanity. I'm seeing people saying like, oh, God Goku for Saiyan Day on Global with the re with Revival skill. This is a Global First God Goku Dokkan Fest coming. There's just so much stuff like that, so... I figured I'd go ahead and make a video, break all this down. Um, what I think personally, do I think this means anything? It could. I mean, I think if this does have any relation to anything, uh, Saiyan Day is actually probably the most likely for sure. I agree. Um, I do think Saiyan Day will be a joint global NJP celebration. Uh, just very, very simple. One of the main reasons for that is there's not that much left for Global before the six-year anniversary. Dokkan, for whatever reason, the morons are intent on keeping Global Anniversary, uh, you know, in July. I mean, I, I still think the best way to do it would be if they just celebrated both versions, anniversaries, both versions celebrated them. So, like, Global would be celebrating JP's six-year anniversary right now. And then JP and Global both celebrate Global's six-year anniversary in July. I think that would be the optimal way to do it. But uh, sometimes these Dokkan guys, they're not really using their brains too much. Um, all right. So I think we would see BoJack at the start of March. Saiyan Day here is the 18th. We're going to get a Dokkan Fest on that day. It really could be a God Goku. Like, you know, I, I don't... This is not really like a solid indication of anything. But it could mean a God Goku is coming. It certainly could. God Goku, to me, seems like a, a relatively solid choice for Saiyan Day. Um, God Goku does not have a Dokkan event. So, I mean, honestly, like, if you go through characters most deserving of Dokkan events, God Goku is probably up there. Um, with, like, Demon King Piccolo and... I mean, I would say Lord Slug, but I don't, <laughs> I don't think Lord Slug is as deserving as, like, God Goku, right? <laughs> But yeah, God Goku definitely could get a, a Dokkan Fest, because he needs a Dokkan event, for sure, right? So that, that could happen uh, on the 18th of uh, March, I think, for both Global and JP. Then I think Global would move into PyCon and Janemba in April, and then that's it. May and June uh, are then completely up in the air. Now, now, June, typically what Global does is they will add in the very first Dokkan Fest uh, JP gets after the anniversary in June. So let's say this next Dokkan Fest that's coming in like two weeks for JP is, I don't know, uh, Great Ape Kid Goku. Then that's what will come in June is like a Great Ape Kid Goku, right? Now, a couple of things to break down too. One big reason, I don't think this God Goku would be a revival mechanic character at all. Um, now, there is precedent actually uh, for global um, getting previous mechanics early, right? So, obviously, you know, LRUI Goku here, best unit in the game by far, just the king of everything, perfect in every way. Um, he basically is the unit that's introducing the revival mechanic into Dokkan, right? Down here. Now, there's a couple things. If Global is going to get the revival mechanic, then that means they would get, like, like a monster update with, like, all the six-year anniversary stuff that uh, JP got right before their anniversary, right? Now, again, this has happened before. Um, if you guys remember, for months before the global anniversary, uh, equipment was actually in the data. Like, if you were in an event and you pressed the button to quit, you saw little equipment icons. So, again, it, it's not like they've never done anything like this before. Like, introducing the revival mechanic, like, well before the anniversary or something like that. But I think this would be a little too soon 
to introduce it is really my point, right? Like, the revival mechanic right now, like, this is supposed to be one of the main selling points of the anniversary LRs. Global is not going to drop it, I think, in March to completely stomp on the anniversary LRs like that, right? Now, again, UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta uh, introduced it. If we go back... Wait, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's another point I'm going to talk about. But if we go back and take a look right here, um, this UI Goku is the character that introduced transformations on Global Dokkan. Um, on JP Dokkan, it was the three-year anniversary LRs, and then UI Goku was the next Dokkan Fest directly after them who also had the transformation mechanic, right? But again, originally... This was the guy on Global who introduced the transformation mechanic um, to Global Dokkan. We could see right here, he came out on May 15th. So, I mean, he's actually relatively close there to um, Goku Day, uh, which is May 9th, right? So, this was what introduced transformations. Um, then, of course, there's also active skills, which likewise also were introduced early um, for Global Dokkan. Here, let me actually head up here. And let's bump it up to three-year anniversary, okay? And the active skills, again, were introduced early on Global Dokkan as well. Let me just go ahead and find it. It was also during May. It was LR, Gohan, and Goten who are coming up next. Right here, okay. So LR, Gohan, and Goten. They are the character that introduced active skills on Global Dokkan. Again, the active skill mechanic, which was introduced during the four-year anniversary on JP with LR, B-Pan, and the LR, Super Saiyan 4s, right? Well, Gohan and Goten introduced it on May 8th. Again, Goku Day. Um, well, Goku Day is May 9th, but I, you, you get it, right? Basically, Goku Day. Um, introduced the active skills early on Global here. So... If a Revival character would come to Global early, which, again, I don't think is out of the realm of possibility whatsoever. I do think it's very, very likely and very possible Global will get Revivals before the anniversary. But I don't think it's going to happen now. Like, maybe for Goku Day, there's some sort of, like, crazy Revival unit. That could be it. Maybe this God Goku we're looking at is actually the Goku Day unit for both Global and JP. That's very possible, right? Um, but, again, they're not... I don't think they're going to introduce the revival mechanic that super early, right? Um, <clears throat> one other thing I do want to point out, too, is... So, where is... I had I just had it. Well, here, let me get rid of these. Bam, bam. Okay, right here. So, last year, right, JP Dokkan dropped this Dokkan Fest. This was the New Year's of 2019. Um, super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Majin Vegeta. They dropped that Dokkan Fest, right? It was Boo Saga. And then they proceeded for the next, like, several months to, like, borderline almost exclusively do um, both Boo Saga and, what was the other one? Uh, Dragon Ball Super, right? Like, like start, like, skip the anniversary, that one doesn't count. And then skip Beerus, that doesn't count. Then after this, every single, like, Dokkan Fest, every major thing that was coming, well, okay, and also same day, I guess. But, okay, as starting with this, okay, so now Blue Cow can Goku turn out a power, right? Then we go into um, Go Tanks and Boo, Boo Saga, right? Keep going. I believe we go into Kefla next, turn a power, right? Like LR God Goku, turn a power. Then you keep going down, Blue Goku and Vegeta, LR Jiren, and then it goes into Tech Ultimate Gohan. They were building up towards these big, massive sort of dual Dokkan fests for these major uh, celebrations, right? LR UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta for the 6th anniversary. And they're also building up to the SCR Vegito and the LR Buhan for the worldwide download celebration. Those were the sort of things that they were building up to by releasing all those Dokkan Fests over and over and over and over. Now, I will say this. God Goku would make sense if he's a movie hero God Goku. Because if we scroll down, again, th this is sort of a shot in the dark. I mean, this doesn't actually like def definitively mean anything. But, like, go look at Dokkan, right? So they drop Bojack in November. You know, in Gogeta gets his EZA. LR Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Then we go into the PyCon and Janemba dual Dokkan Fest. Right now, it does seem as though Dokkan is potentially leading towards a, a movie worldwide down celebration. Like, they're potentially buffing up movie hero and movie bosses right now is what it seems like they could be doing. So if they drop some sort of God Goku... Um, actually, let me pull up movie heroes specifically. 
Uh, if they pull up some sort of God Goku, um, and like he's like a really good movie hero unit, then at that point it makes me start to wonder for real if the Worldwide Download Celebration is going to be like a blue Gogeta and like a standalone full power Super Saiyan uh, Broly. I really think that could happen. Where's Air's Movie Heroes? Okay. So let me take a look. So a God Goku unit, I mean, again, we saw the base Goku, the Super Saiyan Goku, and the God Goku. Uh, so Super Saiyan Goku is really powerful. We do have a really good one. What about like base Goku? Not really that I'm seeing here. Again, we do have this guy is is a pretty good God Goku. I mean, this guy would need an easy A. Remember that the LR God Goku is not on Movie Heroes. This guy needs an easy A as well. This base Goku is like dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. I do have Goku pulled up right here. They could pretty easily, it looks like. Because <clears throat> this guy's Planet Namek Saga, Transformation Boost, stuff like that. I think they pretty easily could do a base God Goku that transforms into, uh, like, Super Saiyan God Goku, and he'd be a very strong movie hero unit. Again, building up towards the worldwide download celebration. I think that's definitely something that could happen. Super Saiyan is good on movie heroes. Like, if we're going to do another Super Saiyan Goku, well, I mean, I guess they could do something from, like, the, the Broly movie and stuff like that. Like, that, that punch he does to finish Broly off would be sick. But, like, I don't know. I'd rather, like, we get, like, an Android slash Cell Saga uh, Super Saiyan Goku next, if anything. Um, and then as far as God Goku goes, LR God Goku is still very, very good for difficult events, like like Super Battle Road and stuff like that. Um, he is a little recent, though, for them to flat-out replace. That's the only thing. Uh, like, I, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibility they'll replace him at some point. But, like, this guy came out in, what, November of 2019? I mean, Bardock, the LR Bardock was sort of replaced, and he came out in, what, May of 2018? So, I don't know. I I think if they're going to do a God Goku, it's going to be a transforming God Goku. Or they're going to release, like, a very good, like, banner unit God Goku, but not something that would outright replace the LR. I don't think they're going to do that. It's too soon to replace LR God Goku, right? So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Oh, I did also have this pulled up, too, by the way. There was shenanigans like this before with Dragon Ball Legends, I do want to point out. And it ended up meaning nothing, right? Like, July 20th of 2020. Like, the next stuff that came out, I believe, is like... I remember, like, Turles and the Metal Cooler movie Super Saiyan Goku. And then, like, Ultimate Gohan from the Turn of Power and, like, Boo Tanks from the Boo Saga are characters that dropped. So... Uh, you know, a lot of these, this icon shenanigans has been a thing that's happened in Legends before, and it's meant nothing. So, um, these icons really could mean nothing, but uh, God Goku as a uh, Dokkan Fest for Saiyan Day, there's much worse ideas, right? Like, God Goku for Saiyan Day is pretty damn good. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, again, if it is, whatever Saiyan Day is, I do think it's going to be for both Global and JP. Thanks, guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch y'all next time.